Good morning guys, good morning internet. My name is EJ and I am here to do another uh, look back at one of my artworks uh, that I did. Uh, one of the recording of the time lapse of my artwork that I did way back in 2019. Last year, <laughs> pretty much last year. I think if I'm not wrong, this was done in January 13 of 2019. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna narrate uh, as we watch what is going on in the video um, to start things out uh, how I normally start things out I normally talk about where the idea came from and whatnot and how this uh, artwork evolved this is basically a prop for sketchzone.net um, and it's really hard for me to talk about Sketchzone just because there's another group of artists who has the same name Sketchzone that does YouTube podcasts. We're actually not the same group. Uh, Sketchzone is a Discord channel um, where we hang out and just talk about art and whatnot. And um, we have weekly prompts that got started last year uh, by Maddie, if I'm not wrong. He's the one who handles that and the weekly prompt for that for the week that I did this was mice thieves and right away as soon as I read the prompt I kind of wanted to do something really campy cheesy you know kind of something like Disney sort of thing like a like a toys uh, kind of motif from Pixar um, so basically I wanted to do something anthropomorphic for anthropomorphic um, and so, yeah, it was pretty much, uh, you know, pretty straightforward, uh, interpretation of the prompt. <laughs> well, not so much as a straightforward interpretation of the prompt, because in, in my illustration, I obviously did a bunch of soldiers, uh, raiding a kitchen and whatnot. And so, um, it's not really like, uh. Like they're being like thieves. I mean, they're being thieves. They're about to steal something, obviously. But you know, they're doing it commando style. So, <laughs> yeah, the illustration has this narrative component uh, to it, where these mice, this little mouse, this little creatures, this little mammals, are being all gung ho in their mission to steal whatever it is they're gonna steal. So yeah, um. But now that I got the idea out, let's talk about what's going on in the video. And obviously in the video, I started out with a sketch. Um, I laid out some vanishing points uh, in Krita. And Krita has a really cool tool called the assistant tool where you could set up um, assistance <laughs> for drawing assistance. Um, and one of the things that they have in the assistant tool is the vanishing point so I, I set that up and then I repainted it on a separate layer just so that I could have um, I could turn it on and off and whatnot and then as soon as I have that set up as soon as I have all the perspective grids set up then I started um, doing my sketch which I knew that there that in my composition there was gonna be like a, like a the mouse or the mice are going to be in between like the island and like another kitchen counter or whatnot which is what pretty much we're looking at you know and so yeah I kind of I mean I just like I said from the very beginning I already have like a strong idea of what I wanted to do instead of having to experiment first and doing thumbnails so yeah I wanted all the mouse to be in the diagonal line going through this one catty corner and I wanted that one mouse that you see on the left the one that's like peeking through and checking things out you know like I, I really wanted that character to be there like I remember that character and then the one in the middle with the hand up like I knew that I distinctly wanted them there you know I the one in the middle is basically like the lieutenant who's like telling everyone to move double time double time get across you know and then obviously the point guy uh the point man is the one that's like looking on the corner around the corner so i wanted those two characters essentially and i wanted them essentially with a pose very similar to what i drew them as for everyone else you know I, it was all kind of just up in the air but they came they came out of my brain very very nicely and then the other thing that I knew I wanted even before I got started was 
uh, the food tray, which is not really obvious because uh, no one has ever mentioned the food tray. But the food tray, it's reverse, right? Okay, it just went back. It was reversed for a while. But if you look at the tr uh, the food tray, the pet food tray, there's some uh, words in it. And I wanted the words to say tank, as in that's the name of the pet. And so basically the narrative I have in my head for this little story is that these mice teams, these little mice soldiers are trying to do a raid and they know that their biggest nemesis is the tank. So it's like soldiers versus tank basically. And it's not really clear or I, I didn't really make it clear whether or not that food tray is for a cat or is for a dog, you know. Well, but whatever this pet is, this pet's name is Tank. And they're pretty much against the mice. <laughs> so that's kind of like the narrative that was going on in my head, you know. So, um, so yeah, basically I wanted something campy and cheesy with a little story that goes along with it when I did this illustration. So, but yeah, um, now I'm done with my sketch. Um, I just finished pretty much all the kitchen countertops and whatnot. And what I'm about to start doing is pretty much my standard routine. Um, it's different than most people because most people are very careful with their colors. Well, let me explain the steps first. Right now, I'm, you know, my very first step after doing the line sketch is typically to delineate or to try and figure out where the light and the shadow is you know any picture any image that you have you could pretty much um condense it into like two sections the dark and the light and so that's what i wanted that's what i typically do it kind of helps me with composition and whatnot so that's what i just did um i put uh, everything in shadow as the purple and obviously the green light as where the light's going to be coming from and then this is the part that's kind of like weird because most people I never ever really see people do this but what I typically do is that I just throw in random colors you know that kind of goes along with um, the color scheme of whatever object I'm doing so obviously just now I did brown for the furniture and I decided cool blue for the floor and then some white uh, blue whitish for that wall in the back and I put that all in one layer. I use a brush that, you know, kind of has a key variation. And then as soon as I do that, I go back to choosing that light area and making the light area like brighter and then like the darker areas like darker on that layer with all the color. So that's what I do. And then sometimes I do this extra step where I photo bash a photo in just to have some more random noise. And then you can see that I chose like the light area and making it brighter and then the darker ones I'm making darker. Um, and then I guess I put that photo like at some form of opacity and whatnot. I'm not sure. Maybe I think I put it down to like 50%. Um, but yeah, sometimes I have that color layer and sometimes I have that photo layer. And then what I'm going to end up doing is I, you know, as soon as I have all this mess is basically mess you know you can see it's kind of messy right now as soon as I have that mess I put them all in one layer and then smudge things around into recognizable shapes I basically follow like the sketch outline that I have you know where I kind of sketch smudge things um, around the lines or within the lines or whatnot to just kind of get this recognizable shapes and basically my aim for this is to get a base paint and then as soon as I get a base paint I start my detailing process so yeah that's what you are watching right now
Okay, so I pretty much just finished with the whole smudging thing um, to get my base paint and now I'm beginning to detail. Um, and the detailing process is pretty much rinse and repeat all the way throughout which what I try to do is delineate my edges, uh, make my edge sharper. You can see right now I'm trying to add like a little highlight on the edge of that cabinet door so that there's, you know, it's indicated that there's a door there basically. So yeah, I delineate my edges or make my edges sharper so it reads clearer and I accentuate my shadows. Um, so if my shadows needed a little bit darkening, then I try to darken it up a little bit. In this case, I didn't really accentuate any shadows in the composition because everything is pretty fairly dark, you know? So I didn't really feel the need for it. And then after accentuating my shadows, I pretty much add highlights. So those are like the three steps that I do, which is pretty much just rinse and repeat pretty much all the way throughout. Um, so yeah, uh, this illustration was really straightforward and it was really, really fun to do because it was very easy. The only other problem that I ran into with this illustration is the mouse, the colors of the mouse. I didn't realize that they were going to disappear in the background and I should have had foresight to, you know, color them differently than just picking the colors that I randomly put in there. Like I should have specifically put some specific random colors just for them that's different from the background is what I should have done um, instead of just going with the blue but clearly I didn't do that because I didn't I didn't think it was needed and then I realized whoa <laughs> the rats kind of disappear in the composition like you can tell the rats in the light area like they're easy to tell those mice in that light area but in the dark area they're just so dark and so what I ended up doing for those three that's in the dark was uh, I lassoed them and I changed the hue on it. I'm not sure if I did the color balance edit to change the hues or if I did um, just a hue shift um, edit. I'm pretty sure I just changed the hue and not did any kind of color balance. Um, so when I did that, um, it kind of helped for a little bit. And then I posted it and asked for critiques and somebody said that it was still kind of too dark. So I had to go back and realign it. And, and that part is not recorded. But really that was like pretty much my only snag or the only issue problem I pretty much ran into with this illustration. Because everything that I kind of imagined in my head before doing this illustration was just pretty much like, you know, happen, you know. I really wanted the perspective like I knew that I was going for that perspective and that came along very very nicely and I have like I said those two particular mouse their poses I had that in my head you know even before I drew it so that came along nicely the two mouse that's really close to the viewer uh, the one on the right right now there's two on the right that you can see I enjoyed drawing them because I didn't really know how I was going to pose them you know and how I ended up posting them where they look like they're tiptoeing like I thought that was kind of cool you know so those two was very cool too but yeah everything just came along nicely um, you can see me right now working in the background and it's pretty straightforward I'm just you know marking my edges and delineating it Thinning down some of the shadows, you just saw me thin down some shadows because it was too strong. And then I go back with the highlights, which I just recently, with it, uh, which I'm just now adding. And then yeah, after I'm done with all that background, I just start working in a mouse. And and yeah, like I said, everything just just went along smoothly, or just went smoothly. This was such a fun illustration to make. I have to say, this was a really, really fun illustration to make. It was really cool speed paint.
so I'm pretty close to finishing up this uh, finishing up with this illustration right about this point and uh, I guess I was right all along I did a hue shift edit instead of color balance edit to get the green and as you can see right now it's still kind of too dark you know I didn't recognize it then but somebody mentioned it and so I went and lightened this up and in hindsight I think it would have worked better if it was like a warmer color than green but when I was doing the initial hue shift nothing was sticking out that looked cool so I stuck with green and green it is but anyways so yeah this is pretty much the end of this illustration thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next video make sure to like and subscribe good night